Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by the Louis Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and based off a comment from one of my subscribers, hopefully, um, he asked how can you simulate clothes for characters walking. Um, this was in a video of me showing you how you can just create a nice static clothes simulation in Blender, but he wanted to know how you can actually create one for an, anim for an animation. So this is a quick example which I just whipped out. I set it up in less than 15 minutes. The model was from Make Human, the clothes from Mar Marvel Marvelous Designer, and the animation was from Mixamo. Um, others, everything is very accessible. So uh, before I continue, if you have any questions, you can leave it in comments. And if you need me to make a, a tutorial for you, if it's um, if I think it's gonna be helpful for everyone, I will quickly make it. So. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave comments if you have questions. Um, so let's start off with the tutorial. So I'm going to load in the basic startup file which I have. Save another copy. Okay, um, so what we have here is the raw animation. And right off the back you can see some obvious wrong things like the clothes is penetrating the character. Um, intentionally, intentionally, I left it because I want to show you guys in the worst situation possible um, so that you can learn some tricks or be able to debug it along the way because dealing with simulation is not a very straightforward process. Um, so um, that's why I intentionally left it. And also, let me turn on my screen cast key so you guys can follow along. So let's enable it one more time. Okay. Um, so, first thing we want to do, we want to select all the objects, hit Ctrl A to apply the rotation and scale. Um, this stage is really important anytime you're dealing with simulation because um, you want to make sure Blender is working with the right scale of your object to avoid any um, any errors that's going to come up. Okay, so next we want to select the object, which is going to be the collision object. and to enable that, we want to go to the physics panel right here and hit collision. So we'll leave all the parameters as default um, because it has little or no effect um, to the base. It can have effect, but the default works perfectly. Um, next, we want to select the clothes object which you want to simulate and hit the clothes, enable the clothes um, simulation. So I will not go in depth with all the Cool stuff here um, because it's not really important to get any good decent results right off the back. I'll just show you guys the um, basic important stuff you know you need to know um, to create it. Um, next we can hit play now but let's make sure everything is set up perfectly. So you want to make sure your playback is set to no sync so that Blender can calculate each frame. Um, yeah so let's see what's happening. So you can see it's simulating and it's doing a pretty good job since um, we have the collision enabled. So um, let's look at the errors we get right off the back. Um, so we can notice um, these artifacts here. So that's basically since the object started up penetrate, um, already inside the collision object. So once the simulation starts, it, sh it tries to fix that quickly and you get this kind of artifact. So we don't need that, obviously. Um, the next problem you will see is the spacing between the collision object and the clothes object, which is not desirable too. We want it to be uh, like you want, um, you want it to be as you act directed um, to be very close to the character. Okay. And yeah, so, and also the whole clothes is simulating because uh, if you look at a clothes simulation, not um, if, it, if you look at a character walking or a real human being walking, uh, not all the parts are moving. Some parts move less and some parts move more. So we need to also add that to the simulation. So let's tackle the pen clothes penetration first of all. So to fix that, we have to do some quick sculpting. We'll grab our sculpt brush and the move brush is quite appropriate for this. So let's grab the scott brush and just with little strength and just click on it and just pull it out slightly. 
of course with your models uh, you should have it by default not to be penetrated with the weight painting process and you should not uh, you should be able to skip this stage so we just want to have it to not penetrate with the collision object right off the back okay so now we are all good to go we'll apply rotation again and scale it and if we simulate it we should get better result um better i'm just gonna simulate everything um, real and come back when it's done i'm gonna set the cache to 42 that's the length of my frame and i will bake it so um, it's done and i'm quite surprised that it did perfectly just working with the collision object and the cloud simulation it did a perfect job and also one thing you should notice that i left left the bending model with angular this um, model um, works quite efficiently especially when simulating complex stuff compared to the linear i found so if the linear model is not working for you, you should switch to the angular it works faster and smoother okay so we have it moving looking great but we're still getting some artifact so we could fix that easily with the smooth modifier especially if you don't have time in your if time is not a luxury you have so you can just use the smooth modifier to fix some of those artifacts and it's looking good so um, some problem we are running into if i could get it to center um, especially here the cloth is colliding with the side and technically we don't really need that side to simulate at all okay and so we need to restrict it to not simulate and also we want to create more realistic effects um, that means we want the cloth to be less should move less in some certain areas so we need to restrict the motions so let's do that and we'll do that by using the weight paints tool so we'll go to the first frame and inside our weight paint so let's go to edit mode first of all okay so here in the edit mode i have my sim which is really rough and i can use this as a quick selection a method to select um, those edges because i want to also restrict those edges so i get more realistic motions from the cloud so i will select the seams and create a new vertex group so you can do that too by selecting the seams and hitting plus here assign we'll call this thin group okay so if we go into the weight paint you can see how it's looking isolated so what we want to do here is just clean it up quickly i will just pause the video when i'm done so basically what i did i just made it more cleaner and sharper um, so you can do that with the draw brush and you can play with the weights if it sets one you get full effect if it sets zero you can subtract the weight paint okay um next we also don't want part of the body to move especially those parts close to the hands that moves a lot so we want to just save time of debugging the simulation so we also restrict those areas like under the armpit okay and also we want to restrict areas of the top part of the body because it doesn't move so much um, so the areas are more, close, are more are those um, around this section. Okay, so now we'll grab the blow brush and just blend everything in nicely. Okay. Um, so before we finalize the simulated, fi um, get a final simulation, let's fix the distance between the character and the clothing. So the way we do that is we go to object collision and by default this is the value we have 0 0.015 so you want to reduce that so this um, lower the value the more closer or the more 
leeway the cl cloth simulation has to be closer to the collision object so we can set this to 0 0.5 so it's smaller value and if you want to get complex if you want to get even a more realistic motion you can enable self collision so the clothes can interact with each other each other um, but what you want to make sure you do you want to reduce the distance to something like um, the lowest value so but for this I don't really need it um, because the self collision is not so obvious um, of course this is going to increase the simulation time so um, use it when you need to okay so perfectly we have everything set and finally um, if we play this simulation um, which is not playing because I need to cache it anyway so the motion of the clothes um, feels a bit stiff like cutting um, obviously uh, based on the fabric which you're trying to simulate um, you want to play with the mass of the object so I'm trying to simulate it like a silk um, velvet clothes so um, it's more light in in motion so if you want to simulate something like cutting probably um, a lower value will give you more stiffer motion but if you increase the mass you get a more lighter motion so that's what I'm going for so I'm gonna set this to like five or probably three so I get best of both word and let's see you can increase the quality of the simulation um, you don't want to go crazy so I'm just gonna set it to seven and bake it so with all these changes we did now we have a more uh, free clothes and yeah and it's looking great um, I forgot oh shit I forgot to actually add the the vertex group which we created so to add it you want to go to the shape and in pin group you want to select the pin which we created earlier so this is the pin group which we created and let's pick it and you'll see how it look so yeah it's done and it's looking great we look at it now it's, it's moving freely and we are restricting some areas like we wanted though we are still getting some intersections which we could fix with sculpting um, we can do that anyway you could just um, use shape key to uh, just move the cloth the object slightly inwards to in those areas that are really affecting since you cannot un big dissimulation just for speed you can this is an easy fix and yeah so we get a nice simulation yeah so that's it guys thank you guys for watching this tutorial i hope it was helpful the guy that asked uh, i requested for this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you wish to see more from me don't forget to hit that subscribe button so bye bye for now see you next time